spectators were finally able to enter the Welsh forests of Penmachno, Alwen and Gwydir to watch the 2021 Visit Conway Cambrian Rally. As the spectators were arriving at their chosen vantage points, the crews were leaving the North Wales seaside resort of Llandudno in readiness to tackle the 45-stage mile rally. Gary Pearson has increased his lead in the 2021 Motorsport UK Pirelli Welsh National Rally Championship after scoring maximum points on the Visit Conway Cambrian Rally, which is his second series win in a row. Co-driven by Niall Burns, Gary made a great start in his Asset Alliance Skoda Fabia R5 to establish an early lead which he was able to maintain until the finish, despite a small issue with the car on the afternoon loop of stages. We started in the morning with a bit of a push to try and get an early lead, which was just as well because on the fifth stage in the afternoon we hit something and bent the steering, said Gary. It got progressively worse and for the last couple of stages we were forced to back off, but by then we had established a good lead and were able to maintain it until the finish. Callum Black, who got his title challenge back on track with a second place finish in his Palace Connections backed Ford Fiesta R5+. Plus. <laughs> Slow number 130 down, turn handbrake right the wrong bill. 60. For the last five left, plus 80. Flat six left over bridge, 40. Short three left, don't. A puncture on special stage four, a fast fifth gear brush with the heads on special stage five, and a slight ride up a grassy bank on the final asphalt stage couldn't prevent the 586 Sports team driver and co-driver Jack Morton from scoring a magnificent second podium finish. George Lepley also had a great run on the Cambrian. Not only did a superb performance in his WD40 Mitsubishi Evo 10 net him a third place WNRC points finish, but he also clinched the Pirelli Welsh Junior title. His reward is a prize of a test in a PCRS Rally Sport prepared Hyundai i20 R5, organised by onthepacenotes.co.uk. Co driven by Tom Woodburn, George's fantastic result in North Wales puts him second in the overall driver's standings, six points behind Gary and 15 points ahead of Callum. Matthew Hurst and Declan Deer finished fourth in the WNRC section in their Delta Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 9, despite the spare wheel coming loose in the boot on the opening stage and dislodging the diff pump. They also survived a couple of punctures during the afternoon loop of stages. Owen McMackin was also an inspired fourth, finishing sixth overall in his Escort Mark II. Co-driven by Lee Taylor, the result gives Owen the lead of both the Restruct-sponsored two-wheel drive category and the Ravenol UK Welsh Challenge. <laughs> Ashley Davies remains second in two-wheel drive category and moves up to second in the Welsh Challenge after he and co-driver Sam Fordham mastered the conditions in their Escort Mark II. They even hit a water splash too slowly and got fired off into the undergrowth and couldn't see with so much water on the windscreen, but thankfully made it out and carried on with some damage to the steering rack, so had quite a bit of play, but it was okay to carry on. Two left. Keep going spot left. <laughs> Unfortunately, it wasn't such a good day for David Crossan. Coming into the event leading both categories, the Coma driver picked up a puncture on the opening stage and together with co-driver Aileen Kelly retired his Escort Mark II on the afternoon loop. 
Paul Street has taken the lead in the hotly contested Pirelli Welsh Historic Cup after scoring maximum points with a controlled drive in his Escort RS 1800 Mark II. Partnered by Ian Jones, Paul picked up a puncture and bent a wheel on the opening stage, but a more cautious approach paid dividends after that. Robert Goff moves up to fourth in the Pirelli Welsh Historic Cup after finishing second, co-driven by Jack Bowen in his Escort Mark II, which was a magnificent result considering that they have entered the car on the Roger Albert Clark Rally and were keen not to damage it. Black has clinched the Class W3 title after a great drive in his Suzuki Swift 1400. Co-driven by Paul Morris, the 586 Sports team driver was able to ease off in the afternoon when rivals Dave and Toby Brick suffered clutch failure in their Vauxhall Nova. Dan and Cyril Jones have clinched the W10 title after securing their third straight class win in their Vauxhall Nova. continue to lead W2 in their part box Ford KA and scored maximum class points on the Cambrian having survived a couple of spins in special stage 2 when the windscreen missed it up and a puncture on special stage 4. While Matthew has secured the W2 co-driver's title, Adria is in a close battle for the driver's trophy with Ross Clements, who, co-driven by Christopher Lear, had a good run in his MGZR. Ricky Crone has extended his lead in the Pirelli Welsh Road Rally class to five points after he and Daniel James won the category for the second time in a row in their Escort Mark II. Early leaders Robbie Wood and Ocean Davies remain second in the standings after finishing second on the Cambrian in their escort mark two, while third place Graham Thatcher and Tim Samuel could still win the title after another strong performance in their Peugeot 206 GTI. <laughs> Mark Lennox lost time when his Escort Mark II's windscreen missed it up on Special Stage 1 and he caught a car on Special Stage 2. He and co-driver Rodri Evans recovered well, but their third place finish leaves them a little short on points to win the title this year. <laughs> Morgan and Adrian Williams had a great maiden outing in their new winner garage Skoda Fabia R5 to score their first finish of the season, while Max Bradshaw and Liam Whiteley reached the finish unscathed in their Renvo 8 DB Autos and Sons Mitsubishi Evo 3. Tough 
Peter Rain contributed to several retirements, including Tom Llewellyn and Ross Whittock in the Braces Mitsubishi Mirage, Dylan Davies and Daffod Evans in their Subaru Impreza, and Ewan Lloyd and Sean Williams in the West Wales Rally Spares Peugeot 208 R2, all of whom hit the same outcrop of rock on Special Stage 2, which damaged the suspension of each car and forced them all into instant retirement. Tom was particularly unlucky as the impact threw the car into a roll. challenging day. Uh, started out this morning with quite a big push and just tried to get a bit of a, a lead and uh, this afternoon we actually went out in fourth sort of fifth stage we bent something on the steering so uh, and the power steering has been sort of progressively getting worse so uh, last sort of few stages we've just settled back a little bit but managed to come here with a win and uh, delighted. They were hard work, yeah, to put it mildly. Uh, the first stage uh, I enjoyed, second stage was a bit better, Pin Mac no, we got good rhythm in there, and then our win was one of my favourite stages, so we went well in there. And after the service, we really struggled. Uh, we, it cut up a lot more than what we expected, so we were just trying to pick our way through. Um, and then uh, the penultimate stage, our win, we, we picked up a puncher, so we had to be uh, real careful through the tarmac stage and just to get to the finish. Yeah, it's uh, been, a, been a challenging day to say the least. I think everyone will tell you how uh, it was rough this afternoon, how slippery it was this morning. This morning. So uh, yeah, you know, we had the same problems or same difficulties, and uh, yeah, really enjoyed every minute of it. Lots of very twisty and technical stages, um, you know, and all the rocks and whatever you sort of trying to avoid all the time. So yeah, it's, it's been good. It's been challenging and uh, good to get to the finish and you know thrown with that twin lakes tarmac three miles stage it was a uh, really good way to round out the event let's take a look at the points then after round number three gary pearson leads the way with 83 points six clear of george lepley with callum black still in there in third some 15 points further back ian bainbridge who missed the cambrian is joined fourth with owen mackin with ashley davies behind ahead of matthew hurst Richard Hill, David Crossan and Paul Barrett completing the top 10. Join us in a couple of weeks time for the final round of the 2021 Pirelli Welsh National Rally Championship as the crews tackle the Rally Nut Stages Rally on Saturday the 13th of November. <laughs>